whole world listens to Radio Biafra. And here we set the agenda for political discourse, especially in the abominable contraption called the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. We have one thing in common, all of us that believe in Biafra. One thing is we have in common. A pathological hatred for Nigeria. I cannot begin to put into words how much I hate Nigeria. People don't understand it. I despise it. With every drop of blood in my body, I will walk towards the total dissemblement of that zoo. That by the time we finish, Nigeria will no longer exist. That name will wave goodbye to it. The same way Yugoslavia is gone, the Soviet Union is gone, that same way will the word Nigeria be obliterated from history books. Nigeria is a reminder that black people are stupid and foolish. Nigeria is a reminder that colonial mentality actually seeped into our bone marrows. As somebody reminded us this morning, when somebody from Nigeria pays and says, Oh, God bless Nigeria, you are making a mockery of God. God can only bless something that is created. I learned that this morning. God did not create the zoo. Therefore, there is no way God can bless it. It's impossible. Impossible. That hopeless entity that people today say they are very proud to belong to was created by a white man. His name is Frederick Lugard. This man is not from Biafra land. This man is not Hausa Fulani. This man is not Yoruba. But there are some people from black Africa who are willing to go to war to defend what a white man created out of their own subjugation. The reason why the zoo was created was to subjugate you. You did not create it. A white man did. You asked the white man to go. The white man left and went back. But you retained every vestige of subjugation left in the hands of the tyrannical few. Those who can read and write claiming they are PhD holders but lack rudimentary or what I would call common sense. They don't understand how to structure a society. Our forefathers, we are better political thinkers and philosophers more than the fools that gave us the zoo called Nigeria. They couldn't have come up with a but in case you can go quiet. Never in their lives. Instead, what they did was to surround themselves with the military and the police. Instead, what they did is to ensure the subjugation of their own people by bringing money abroad and banking it abroad. And people are wallowing in abject poverty. There are many things wrong with the way that a black person reasons that sometimes I wonder. I wonder if some of them are human beings at all or not. I wonder seriously. I don't think so, in my opinion. There is no need, there is no reason why they got independence from a country where the police do not carry guns on the street. Upon becoming independent, this band of vandals and animals created a police force. A police should be a civil service, not a force. It's civilian. They created a police force. They created mobile police, the riot police. They created the army. They created the navy. They created everything you can think about, the air force. They created all this rubbish in order to perpetuate themselves in power. In order to continue lying to you. In order for them to master everything that is to do with violence. To kill you and to subjugate you. The white man came, turned us into slaves, subjugated us, took away all our natural resources. And when they were going, they gave power over to a set of black people again, continuing even worse subjugation of their own people. And you're telling me these people are human beings? Is that what you're telling me? That somehow black people in Africa are normal people. Yes, is that what you, you want me to believe that? If they are normal, they have to prove it. The only way for you to prove that you're not a monkey is by going and getting Biafra. If Biafra doesn't come, you are an animal. Biafra is the only justification you have to exist as a human being. Anybody saying that they are, he or she is a Nigerian. That person is worse than a fool.